Whoa, whoa, what is going on, everyone? Today, I didn't even know I was going to react to this, but on Reddit, I saw the Eye on Arcasia September 2024 version had just been released. So I wanted to react to this video with you all. So without further ado, Rox, take it away. Welcome to Eye on Arcasia, where we take a Ooh, look, look ahead at, at all things Lost Ark coming your way. We know there have been a lot yo, of recent yo, yo, changes. Yo, wh where did the smile go? <laughs> she was so happy and now she's so sad looking. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Shared about our plans for our updates coming out in September and October and the release of Tier 4. So before we dive in, we're going to talk a little bit about the most recent team update. Okay, let's see Earlier this. Earlier this summer, a few members of our team paid a visit to the Smilegate RPG uh -huh. offices in Korea to discuss yeah, player feedback. During the trip, both teams agreed that a lot of the feedback delivered by our player- She looks so nervous, by the way. Her body language, her face. Ooh, she looks very nervous. I'm very nervous too, because maybe it's not good news after all. But let's keep on going. Sorry for continuing to pause. Players in the West is a result of some of the different experiences and environments that looks really kind of stem from the Korean version of the game versus ours. In order to help address this, more measures are needed to suit the Western version of the game, yes, and we want to make more efforts towards this. So taking a step back, we were recently able to share some of the results of these conversations in our latest team update. And I hope some of what I share today will give players a glimpse at the future changes as okay, well. Okay, sounds good so far. For those that may have missed it, due to localization delays, the biggest among these changes was the shifting of the Tier 4 update two weeks back to That's October fine. 9th. I appreciate that. After gathering additional community feedback, we're also happy to share that we'll be shifting a gear to release two weeks after that on October 23rd. Okay. To share some context around okay. this, we first proposed a short release timeline for a gear in order to kick off ancient gear farming to ease the use of the new arc pack passive system. However, players made it super clear this felt too fast, so we'll be pushing back a little bit accordingly. We hope- Okay, so big W so far. So again, I don't know why she looks so serious, but this is amazing news. Uh, we always had a lot of complaints, even in this channel here. I always complained about how it was too soon, right? The difference between the release of tier four and then a gear we don't have enough time to farm for materials play around with stuff you know get familiarized with things before the raid actually starts so this is really nice i really appreciate that they listen to feedback and i'm excited for more let's see having an additional week to prepare for a gear assists players in feeling more prepared for the raids release the September update will release on September 11th and will include the Behemoth Raid at item level 1620, dropping okay. Tier 3 materials. Players tier will three. be able to hop in and enjoy ahead of Tier 4, and Weapon Transcendence will be available starting at item level 1620 with this. Yes, good. Please note that Behemoth Clear Rewards, including amounts of gold and honing materials, will be adjusted to meet these kind of 1620 item level requirements. Mm. And Okay, hold on now. Okay, now, now I'm seeing why she's so serious. Does that mean nerf? So, their plan was to lower the item level. Great. But then now they're making adjustments. She didn't say nerf. She said adjustments. That's very clever, Rox. But I feel like, based on your somber tone, this is a nerf, and I am... Quite unfortunately disappointed about this change i don't know why we need a nerf per se like I, I get it right like it's gonna be a lesser version of it but we're getting ready for tier four we're ready to move on to the next stage of our lost ark journey i don't think you should start it off like this that's just my opinion but let's just keep moving on here Elixir and Transcendence The team update I mentioned updates. earlier, we also touched on some of our plans to bring in recent Elixir and Transcendence system updates from Korea as soon as possible. Okay, We're good. happy to share those changes will come to our version on the game in the September update, All right. September 11th, and they'll okay, make so it easier week. for players to progress through these two systems. With these changes, Armor Transcendence levels 4 through 6 will be available after clearing Gate 2 of Thaemine on any difficulty, okay. and level 7 will be available after clearing Gate 3 of Thaemine on any difficulty. 
For the Elixir yeah. system, Epic Elixirs will be removed from the rewards Ooh. pool and Legendary Good. will become available at item level 1600. Ooh. Normal and solo modes of the Ivory Tower will also begin to drop Legendary Elixirs at 50% of the amount rate dropped in hard mode. Okay, Ooh. interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So now, great news. For Elixirs, a lot of the players' problems was that Epic Elixirs sucked. They were trash. Like, and this is speaking from somebody who's gotten 35 set on Epic Elixirs on all of his characters. I'm talking about every single character that I had, I got 35 set. With that being said, it sucks. Get rid of that stupid thing. And I'm so glad that we finally get the Elixir changes and the Transcendence changes that she mentioned. Now, you don't need to do hard mode in order to unlock 4 to 6 and then uh, for gate two, and then for gate three, if you complete that, you unlock level seven. Now, all your 1620 characters can push to level seven transcendence. That is huge. I'm expecting big, big damage increase boosts for all of our characters in 1620 who are doing normal Thaymine here. You do not need to go to 1630 to get that extra needed boost. This is amazing news. I cannot wait. Thank the Lord for no more epic elixirs. Get them out of my game. I welcome all the transcendence and elixir changes for next week. I am excited. Let's keep on going. We know players have also been interested in learning more about coming progression events and how those might help them prepare characters for tier four. We're still working on some of these plans, but wanted to share a couple of early call outs. There will be a progression event released in September designed to support players Beautiful. and be sure to keep an eye out on our website for more details good, on good. that. Need that on my shadow. Oktoberfest will also return and this year it will include a variety of rewards to help support player progression directly. We'll also be holding the Blooming Makoko event again, which will utilize Ooh. the bound gold system and okay. allow us to increase the amount of gold you can actually earn from the jackpot, even with the same probability of winning. Okay. Finally, we also okay, that was an interesting pause over there. Uh, <laughs> it looks like she was reading a script. But with that being said, amazing, amazing. We need more bound gold increases in our game, like or more sources of gold in our game for our new players. I tried that event, and you know sometimes I get lucky, sometimes you don't get lucky. I really hope they increase the odds because let's be honest here, ten thousand gold is not life changing money anymore back in the day it was so if you got that 10k or whatever you were through the moon but now with 10k even from unas when you get the gold bar you're like yay moving on it's one home right so it's it's a needed change but we still need more gold income in our games but i'm really happy to hear about the express pass and this new gold introduction for our new players to be able to access more gold. Next. I also wanted to give players a heads up on a few additional October dates. Events including the Maharaka Festival, Super Makoko Express, Voldis Power Pass, and current daily playtime event will be extended until October 9th. Okay, nice. Proving Ground but, Seasons sure. 5 will also end on October 9th, and the Thay Mine the First to Mode include Challenge more will now remain open though, until Ross. October 30th. So if you want to earn that Eclipse title in Abyss Grugok Mount, Ooh. you have a little bit of extra time oh, to do okay. so. Okay, okay, you get some more time and for that. And of course, okay. Ignite servers will launch on October 9th alongside Tier 4. October 9th. These servers are going to have a lot of exciting features for players to take advantage of to help them accelerate up to the end game. New systems on these servers will make it easier for players to get familiar with the game and efficiently grow in power before merging their character or moving their character onto a selected legacy server. This is going to be a brand new system for Lost Ark, first introduced in now? the Western version of the game before it's released anywhere else. So definitely stay tuned. For I mean, I appreciate that Global I think actually gets be this really first. beneficial for players new, returning, and old. Last but Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> I got thrown off by that jump cut over there. Uh, but okay, so Ignite servers. Let's talk about that a little bit. I think I'm going to make another video, a separate video about this. I'm a little skeptical because it sounds a lot like Jumpstart server, which was a huge bust in my opinion. But we can always talk about this. Just in my opinion, it just felt like a bunch of veterans players used that server to kind of hone another character to transfer it over to their own characters or to like funnel more gold into their mains it wasn't really meant for new players specifically so 
I'm really excited to hear about what they're going to be doing differently for the Ignite servers, but skeptical. Anyway, let's keep moving on. But not least, we know that the Western version of Lost Ark and its player base have a lot of notable differences from the Korean version of the game. Yes, it does. As we mentioned earlier, considering things such as the growth rates of players in the West, mm -hmm. speed of content, speed of releases, and mm -hmm. more, led us to adjusting Behemoth to 1620. Mm -hmm. When Tier 4 arrives, we will change the Behemoth rewards to the Tier 4 item pool and maintain that 1620 entry level for the Okay, content. good. With all these considerations, we know there will be like cases nerf, where other pieces of content may need to be presented differently from how they initially were in the Korean versions of the game, particularly in terms of required item level, entry levels, and available rewards. Good. While specific details are still under discussion with Smilegate RPG, our teams want you to know we're exploring this so we good, can ensure good, players good. enjoy Tier 4 to the fullest with okay. the least amount of stress possible. All right, thank you. Thank you, Rox. Let me, let me interrupt you for a second here. Really, really nice that they finally admit. Just the fact that this communication just came out of nowhere. I was not expecting this. Nobody was expecting this probably, unless you were working at um, Smilegate or AGS. But really nice to hear that they are taking in player feedback, recognizing, hey, our Korean server is not the same as our global server. And so we need to make adjustments for our global server to not match the Korean server because of time delays and other progression systems that were set in place completely different. So we are all at a different stage in Lost Ark. So really, really nice change. Thank you for joining us for this month's Ion Arcasia. No, we really you. appreciate players' patience with us while we no, work to take your feedback you. into account and make changes. And we encourage you to stay tuned to all of our channels as we get okay, closer to upcoming I encourage releases. you too. We hope this episode of Eye on Arcasia gave you a good look at what they're It was, it was. Always, I, it did give me we'll a good see look. see you in Arcasia. Okay, I'll see you too in Arcasia. Thank you so much, Rox. All right, so that's it. So yeah, Lost Ark, play free now. Play, guys. Uh, some items acquired through promotions and optional purchases published by Amazon Games under license 2023 Smallgate RPG All Rights Reserved Lost in the... Okay, enough of that. All right, let me be serious for a second. This video was really really good it's a good start it's exactly what i wanted and more because i always wanted more communication from our cms just just anybody in general just whoever it was to communicate with us what the changes are going to be what we should be looking out for and just overall seeming like they care about this game and their players this is a very good start i really like this video and it's short and sweet six minutes video Way longer than my stupid video that's nearly going for 13 minutes long. So I'm going to end it here. Really nice changes. I can't wait. Let's talk more about this in other videos. But for now, thank you, Rox, for this nice update. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.